The government in Gaza says the Israeli Defense Forces uh, struck a hospital in the center of Gaza City. Yesterday, uh, it was a, I think it was in the afternoon, it was probably about five o'clock Eastern time here, suddenly the media and Twitter and everything was blowing up that Israel had bombed a hospital in Gaza. Uh, of course, it has now turned out to be completely untrue. We're gonna show you a bunch of evidence of that. Uh, but here is Jake Tapper on CNN. And I, what do I keep telling you about Jake? The problem with Jake Tapper is he's not completely brain dead. Almost everyone on CNN is completely brain dead or they're a propagandist or a liar, right? Almost everybody. Jake has this thing where basically one out of every 10 things he says is right or true. Like suddenly the neurons fire, he says something honest, and then everyone's like, see, Jake Tapper is not that bad. Then he lies about nine more things. Everyone's like, screw Jake Tapper. Then he says something fine, as opposed to just like, put it out there. Like either be horrible or just pick one, pick one. You're driving everybody crazy. So here's Jake Tapper uh, spewing pure Hamas propaganda about a, a, a horrifying Israeli war crime. A major story developing right now in Gaza, what the Palestinian government is calling a war crime. The government in Gaza says the Israeli Defense Forces uh, struck a hospital in the center of Gaza City, Al-Ali Baptist Hospital. Preliminary estimates from the government in Gaza put the number of killed in the strike somewhere between two and 300. We expect there are many more innocent people still trapped under the rubble. The IDF says they're looking into reports of the incident and remains unclear to them right now, they say, if the hospital was struck by Israeli warplanes or by a failed Hamas rocket launch. Let's go straight to CNN's uh, Clarissa Ward, who is in Israel in the town of Ashkelon. Clarissa? Yeah, Jake, uh, we have heard nonstop sirens basically for the last few hours, that in response to this horrifying strike on this Al-Ahli Baptist Hospital. That is a hospital in Gaza City that is in the northern part of the enclave. Uh, thousands of people were taking shelter there from the continued violence. Many people were being treated there. Some of them couldn't be moved despite evacuation orders that have been in place. And as you mentioned, we are hearing initial estimates of at least two to three hundred people killed in that strike and many, many, many more feared dead. Now, Hamas is calling this a genocide. That is not journalism, Jake Tapper. What you are doing is acting as the public relations wing for a terrorist group. When he says Palestinian officials, the Palestinian government, he's talking about Hamas. So Hamas, something blew up. We'll get to that in just a second. Something did blow up. Uh, but Hamas then just releases a statement and he repeats it as if he's working PR. And actually that's what CNN is. MSNBC is full on like we're in it with Hamas, but CNN is kind of pretty much there too. That's not journalism and you know it's not journalism.